Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a nice exponential equation. So the equation is 5 to the power 1 plus x plus 5 to the power 1 minus x equal to 26. Obviously, since this is a exponential equation, we need to make use of the laws of exponents. Uh, specifically, we will be making use of uh, two of the laws of exponents. So one of the law is a power m times a power n equal to a power m plus n. That is, if we have the same base, but if we have different powers, uh, when we multiply them, we can just add the powers. And when we are dividing them, that is a power m by a power n, we need to subtract the powers. So this will be equal to a power m minus n. But uh, in this question, we'll be making use of these rules the other way. Okay. So let us start solving this equation. So first of all, we have this term 5 power 1 plus x. So using the first law, in the other way, we can write a power m plus n as a power m times a power n, right? So we can write 5 power 1 plus x as 5 power 1 times 5 power x plus. In the same way, using the second law, we can write this 5 power 1 minus x as 5 power 1 by 5 power x. This is equal to 26. Okay. Now we see that we have this term 5 power x in our equation two times, right? So let us just substitute for this 5 power x with some other variable. Okay. So that will be better here. So let us put, let us substitute 5 power x as u. Okay. I'm going to choose u here. So the equation will change now. It will become 5 times 5 power x will become u plus 5 by 5 power x is u equal to 26. Okay, so we have the equation 5u plus 5 by u is equal to 26. But here we have a u in the denominator. I don't want the u in the denominator because it's uh, uh, it will make the equation a little difficult to solve. So the best way to remove this u from the denominator is to multiply u with the, this term so that the u will get cancelled out. But we cannot multiply u to only this term. We need to multiply u with the entire equation. So let's go ahead and multiply the entire equation with u. So what will happen? U times the first term. Okay, we have to multiply U with every term in this equation. U times the first term that is 5U. 5U times U. So we have 5U times U plus U multiplied by the second term that is 5 by U times U is equal to U multiplied with this term that is 26. So 26U. As you can see here, we can cancel this U and U and 5u times u will become 5u square plus 5 equals to 26u. We'll bring this 26u to the left side so that we have a nice quadratic equation that is 5u square minus 26u plus 5 equal to 0. Now you can solve this equation by using the formula or by factorization. Uh, let me choose factorization here. Okay, I like that. So we have the equation 5u square minus 26u plus 5 is equal to 0. How do we factorize this? So we have to split the middle term into two parts now. That is 26u into two parts. I mean minus 26u. So we have to take the negative sign as well. For that, first we will multiply this term 5 and this term 5. We have to multiply the end numbers. So that will become 25. And we have to choose the factors of 25. Two factors such that their sum should be equal to minus 26. So we can take 25 times 1 because if, if you add 25 and 1, you get 26. But we want minus 26. So we need to take both of them as negative here. Because when you multiply them, 20, minus 25 times minus 1, it will become plus 25. And when you add them, we get minus 26. Okay. So we can use these two factors to split the equation. I mean, split the middle term here. So we have 5u square minus 26u will become minus 25u minus 1u okay plus 5 is equal to 0 will be as it is now we take 5u as a common factor from the first two terms so that we have u minus 5 remaining in the bracket take minus 1 common here so that we get the same factor that is u minus 5 is equal to 0 and again we take u minus 5 outside so that we have u minus 5 so remaining things are 5u and minus 1 so we have 5u minus 1 equal to 0 so here we are multiplying two terms and we are getting the result as a zero, which means either this term should be zero, u minus 5 should be zero, or 5u minus 1 should be zero, or both of them can be zero. So 
all these possibilities are there so we have to take every possibility so first let us say that u minus 5 is equal to 0 so here we get the value of u as 5 so this is one of the values if you say that the second term is equal to 0 let's equate this one to 0 so we here we get the value of u as 1 by 5 okay so now we have obtained the value of u as a 5 and 1 by 5 so we have two possible values here but we want the value of x right so we have to go back to the substitution we had substituted 5 power x as u right now let us go back over there use that result and find the value of x okay so here the first result is u equals 5 okay so let's take u equals 5 which means 5 power x that is equal to u right so 5 power x will be equal to 5 okay now i can write this 5 as 5 power 1 okay now you compare both sides we have the same basis here so we can equate the powers here it is x and here it is 1 which means x will be equal to 1 so this is one value okay if you take the other one that is uh, u equals 1 by 5 okay so we equate 5 power x with u that is 1 by 5 and we can write this 1 by 5 as 5 power negative 1 right we know the rule of negative exponent that is a power minus n can be written as 1 by a power n so 1 by 5 power 1 is written as 5 power minus 1 so now you compare both the sides okay so let me write it again here so we have 5 power x equal to 5 power minus 1 you compare both sides we have the same basis 5 and 5 so exponents are equal here which means x is equal to minus 1 so this is other result okay so because of this we can say that the values of x okay we have two values of x x can be 1 and negative 1 okay so this is the solution in some competitive exams if this kind of questions appear you will get the options right so you need not solve the equation in the lengthy way like this you can just substitute or plug in the values of x in the equation and verify okay so i hope all of you enjoyed the solution and for more such videos kindly subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next video